Our history in Middle Tennessee dates back more than 65 years. We were a group of nonprofit organizations, all behavioral health providers, that in the mid-90s realized that all of healthcare was changing. And that was really the launch of the organization that we are today, where we find ourselves in six states. Behavioral health is that more encompassing word that includes both treatment for mental health issues as well as treatment for substance use issues. It's your perspective of the world. And until we get behind the lens of our client to see how they're viewing the world, how they view life every day, our work really can't begin. I'm hearing a lot of kids say that they're depressed and or anxious. And so that's what we're faced with. Um, and a lot of behaviors seem to stem from that. With the right education, with the right insight, with the right kind of therapy, at the right time, we truly can build the resiliency that they need to be where they want to be in the future, you know, to accomplish the things they want to accomplish. Give a man a fish and, you know, help him eat for a day, teach him how to fish and, you know, you'll help him eat for a lifetime. So that's that's kind of like how I live with the, uh, with my role as a case manager, uh, advocating for them and empowering them and giving them the resources that they need so they can advocate for themselves. Things that we're doing are helping. At school, I'm able to talk with teachers, I'm able to work with the parents, I'm able to get in there. And a lot of times when you're in the clinic, you may not be able to talk to the teachers as easily. So you really don't get um, a feel for what's going on with the client. Parents who are willing to work through the issues, willing to talk with their kids, willing to try the different strategies, they are more successful. I have yet to meet the individual who hasn't been impacted personally by either substance abuse or mental health. Seeking help for a mental health issue or addiction disorder is one of the hardest things that people come to in their life. But our work is most blessed by people spreading the word about the effectiveness of behavioral health care and helping us lower the barriers that prevent people from getting the care that they need. Yesterday, it was a call from an executive in Nashville who was reaching out on behalf of this 15-year-old daughter because she revealed to her mom and dad the day before that she has a severe eating disorder. I was also so privileged to hear from a Metro police officer who I had not heard from in 20 years that that was the anniversary of his sobriety. And he was just calling to reach out to say, thanks for changing the rest of my life. As a nonprofit that is doing the majority of our work in the Medicaid arena, on a great year, we shoot for a 2% operating margin. There is no room for error because we just can't afford to fail the more than 180,000 patients, clients that we serve every year, the more than 5,600 employees that we have. We know that we're not only making a difference in the lives of individuals, but that we're impacting communities across our entire footprint. And that's just too big of a responsibility to be careless with. We need to be mindful that healthcare today is about the whole individual. It's not just about physical health, it's surely not just about behavioral health, but it's about the whole individual and making sure that everything we do at work in our workplaces recognize the wholeness of the individuals that we employ and their needs. When I think about the most important thing we do for our clients, it's to provide hope and healing.